Tunnel Wagon. Don't you want? He's operating as the uh, chauffeur today. Uh, you can tell by his bright orange hat we've been hunting. So, uh, one of the ideas with purchasing a military surplus Humvee was that it would make a pretty kick ass um, hunting vehicle. So, that's what we're using it for today. Uh, we've been out hunting, and uh, holy smokes, look at this big mamma jamma. All right, Let's see if we can get by this guy. Hey there. So, it came in handy. I mean, where we went. Um, up with all that challenging but it's kind of nice to have the bed in the back so if any deer would have come out to be shot at you know, we'd have a place to put them to haul them to the processor and uh this is your first time driving it what do you think pretty good pretty good like i said i'm impressed that the steering wheel is so light yeah i thought that it was going to be stiffer i know that it's a hydraulic system but that it was going to be stiffer to drive to the steering. Yeah. It's not. Uh, pretty good. All right. There you go. There you have it. You're the second person in Gear Report to drive this. Um, i got to be honest with you. This is Gear Report. I hadn't even ridden in this yet. We're going to have to take care of that pretty soon. Anyhow. Here we go. We're on the highway now. Things you'll notice, this sucker's noisy. There are noises coming from all over the place. You're here in the center, um, and you can't see it because we got the the uh, first tactical backpack and uh, you know the Howard Lade Impact Sport uh, headset. And what's that? There's uh, that's one of the Ruger rifles back here. Um, we got all kind of goodies. That's. Um, what is this one? Oh, there we go, the Thompson Center Compass. We got all kind of stuff in here, so you can't really see the tunnel that goes down the middle. That's where all the drive line, the transmission, engine's up here, transmission, the transfer case is back a little bit. All of that sits up between the seats, so we're actually far enough apart that even with my long arms, I'm not quite reaching them. I can lean and touch, but I have to, I have to lean pretty good to, to be able to reach all the way across. So you, you got more distance between the driver and the passenger here than you do in pretty much any other vehicle I've been in. Um, something we've done here is we put a military radio rack in the center. You see we got the, the dual level. We have the blowout kit here in case we hurt ourselves. And uh, oh, here's what I was hunting with today. Hornady Precision Hunter is in a 30 on 6, so a nice place to put that. This is a, uh, I think it's a Rubbermaid shower caddy from Walmart. It's about two bucks and it's zip tied in place uh, as a temporary means of holding, you know, the uh, Hillamac Gunworks coffee cup and you know, anything else, the, the sportier headset that we have up here. So what else can we talk about? Ah. Check this out. We don't have interior lights in a Humvee. Military Humvees don't have interior lights. This is a one dollar, um, what do you call it, a headlamp from Walmart that I zip tied in place up here. And uh, it actually at night is pretty darn bright. There's one on each side and you can see they tip up and down so you can change the angle. You're clear on this side. Yeah, had to tell him we're clear because it's hard to see from the driver's seat what's happening, you know, with traffic coming on the other side. Uh, anything else we've done here, uh, under my booty down here, you see the um, Oregon Arrow. These are the Oregon Arrow Humvee seat cushions. There's the back and the base. And on the other side, we got the back and the base. And uh, it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big upgrade on the seat cushion. I think that's about all we have to talk about in here today. So, I uh, wanted to give you guys an introduction to the Project Humvee Battle Wagon. And here she is, in all her glory, going down the road back from a very unsuccessful hunt this morning. She 
we got our spare tire strapped in place, some uh, tools and hunting, deer cleaning stuff back there. We're in the two-man configuration here. Um, at some point, under the tire, you see a little um, rectangular piece in the floor, and there's one over here as well. Those, um, it's a floor section that when you undo the pins that hold it in place, you can lift it up and stand it up straight. It has a seat pad. Uh, that, that section in the floor, when it stands up straight, becomes a seat back. And then down underneath, there's actually a seat cushion to sit on underneath. So um, I have the um, three-point seat belt kit to install for both of the back seats. At some point, we're going to uh, enable the uh, back two seats to be used with full, you know, three-point seat belts. I don't know what we're going to do about the top. I'm still looking for a four-man top to use uh, so that we can carry more folks in here. But hey, this is what she looks like today. Hope you enjoyed it. Check back. We got a bunch of upgrades. I actually should have a new set of uh, LED headlights waiting for me when we get back to the office uh, to install. Maybe we'll do that later today. Uh, but we'll put a video up on those at some point. And uh, let us know what you'd like to see. If you have any questions about a military surplus Humvee, check out our Project Humvee Battle Wagon on Gear Report. It's gear-report.com. And uh, we're on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, Gun District. We're all over the place. So wherever you like to hang out social media-wise, you'll probably find us there. So let us know what you'd like to see, what kind of upgrades you'd like to see, what kind of questions you have about uh, converting a military surplus Humvee for civilian use. This is Jeff from Gear Report. Uh, we'll see you at the range.